Hi there boys and girls and welcome to week six of our wonder walks leading up to Easter Sunday. Have you ever wondered why things have different names? I know I do. In Gamery you have different names for lots of things. For example, you call a seagull a pool. When I was a girl we called our wellies Baltics. Why would that be? Well, today has a special name too. It is called Palm Sunday, the Sunday before Easter. Why do you think it is called Palm Sunday? Could it be, could it be something to do with the palms of our hands? Maybe putting them together to pray? Or could it be to do with this plant? I've got a part of palm part of the palm tree family. Could it be something to do with that? Listen to today's Bible reading and see what you think. Then, if you are still not sure, Morag has attached a wee video of this story, which should give you a clue. Send a message with your answer if you find out. Let's read today's story. It's found in the, in the Bible in the book of Mark. They have found a colt. Now a colt is a young donkey. And they were the disciples. And it was out in the street. And it was tied to a doorway. The disciples untied it. Some people standing there said, What are you doing? Why are you untying that donkey? They answered as Jesus had told them to, so the people let them go. They brought the donkey to Jesus. They threw their coats over it, and then he sat on it. Many people spread coats on the road. Others spread branches they had cut from the fields. Those in the front and those in the back shouted, Hosanna! Now maybe that's another thing you could find out. See if you can find out what... Hosanna means. Okay, enjoy your, your wee video and enjoy your walk this weekend. Bye. God's Story, Palm Sunday. So part of God's story happened on a day we call Palm Sunday, and it begins like this. Remember how God sent his son Jesus to rescue us? Well, not everybody believed that Jesus was really God's son and the rescuer, but the ones who did believe in him did something pretty cool on Palm Sunday. It started just like any other day for Jesus. He was heading into Jerusalem with his disciples. But before they got there, Jesus did something surprising. He stopped and sent two of his disciples to go get a young donkey from a nearby village. He even told them exactly where the owner had last tied it up. They weren't sure why he needed the donkey, but they obeyed him. Kids, would you be willing to obey Jesus even if he asked you to do something you didn't understand? Anyway, when the disciples got back with the donkey, they threw their coats on its back like a saddle and Jesus climbed up. Pretty soon, the disciples saw why Jesus needed it. See, crowds of people came to the road and started laying coats and tree branches to make a path for Jesus. When this happened, many people recognized that Jesus was a king. Only kings came into a city like this. So Jesus rode the donkey like he was a one-man parade. And the crowds praised Jesus by yelling things like, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, and peace in heaven and glory in the highest, because they believed Jesus was the rescuer. But remember how some people didn't believe Jesus was God's son? Well, they told Jesus to make everybody stop yelling. They didn't think Jesus deserved to be treated like a king. You know what Jesus said? He told them, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. Well, the people who didn't believe in Jesus didn't like thinking about people or rocks praising him. And that made Jesus sad. He actually started crying. And not just crying, weeping. Here, the people were standing next to the rescuer they'd been wanting and waiting for their whole lives. And they were missing it. But even though Jesus cried, Palm Sunday isn't a sad story. Easter is all about Jesus' amazing rescue, and Palm Sunday is a reminder of just how special that rescue is, and how much Jesus loves everyone. And that's the story of Palm Sunday. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus was traveling. He sent his disciples to get a donkey. People spread coats and branches on the road. 
They praised Jesus. Some people didn't recognize that he was the king. That made Jesus sad. He had come to rescue them. A few days later, he would show just how much he loves us. And that's a part of God's story.